Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. Good afternoon, family. Yeah, it's really hot out here. We're gonna be at 101 today. And right now it is 96 degrees, but I came out to kind of make sure everything was okay and to feed my turtles. And I could not pass up this beautiful crepe myrtle. Now, if you know me, if you've been with me for a while, you know that crepe myrtles are my favorite flowering tree, shrub, <laughs> whatever you, you know, want to call them. They are my absolute favorite. So when you live in high temperature areas, like I do here in the Inland Empire in Southern California, you know, you kind of look at other people who grow things like, you know, hydrangeas, limelight hydrangeas and the little limelights and all of the beautiful new varieties of hydrangeas. Well, they don't survive out here. You know, for them to live out here, we have to literally babysit them and baby them. And uh, it's a lot of work, you know, it's too hot out here. We've been in the hundreds all week long, but crepe myrtles, they love it out here and I love them. So usually around this time, by the end of May, all of my crepe myrtles are blooming, but this has been a weird, you know, year for gardening, the weather, the temperatures have been kind of up and down. So everything is going a little slow, but I do have one that is blooming right now and she is beautiful. So I'm gonna take a second and uh, show her to you guys. So uh, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, so let's see if we can get a closer look on this beauty. Look at those gorgeous flowers. Do you guys know why they call them crepe myrtles? What do those petals remind you of? Crepe paper? Crepe tissue paper? They are beautiful and even though they just look so delicate, they really aren't. Oh, look at the little hoverfly. They can take high temperatures. They bloom from spring all the way until the fall. They love cool temperatures also. In fact, when the weather cools down, the leaves actually get a reddish, orange, yellow, brown tint. They take on beautiful fall colors, but um, they have a very long blooming period. And like I said, their blooms are gorgeous. They are just so beautiful. Look at this. They look like little pink clouds. This one I am growing in a container, which makes it really easy for me to move it around if I need to. I stuck it here, I think at the end of last summer and it's just been kind of sitting here. But like I said, it's the first one to bloom. So maybe it likes its location. Crepe myrtles are also versatile. You can grow them as a tree. As you can see my big white one over there. Look at those beautiful blooms on there. Or you can grow them as shrubs or like I said, in containers. I also have my very first crepe myrtle, which is here. It's usually the one that is blooming by May and it's not blooming right now. If you guys know the story, this crepe myrtle was in my daughter's front yard and she didn't like it. I dug it up, I stuck it in the back of my little SUV and I brought it over here. Well, of course it has tripled in size. And uh, the funny part is, even though I dug it up and brought it over here, some of the root system remained over there and guess what? It grew an entire new <laughs> tree for her. <laughs> so she still has a crepe myrtle over there. Now me, I have several crepe myrtles. So I just showed you the two other trees that I have. I have this beautiful one. I have one here. I also have one there. I have the black diamond crepe myrtles. This one gets very beautiful purple flowers on it. I had another one here and the gopher tunneled all through its system. So the one that you see here 
is a dynamite crepe myrtle. It gets gorgeous red blooms on it, just as this one over here in this container does also. Let's see if I can walk around here. So remember we were talking about the beautiful colors they get in the fall. Well, it's very similar to this. This one stays in the shade. So it gets uh, pretty cool temperatures over here. This is also a dynamite crepe myrtle. And you can see those red hues up here too, the reds and the oranges, they're gorgeous. But this one is also a dynamite crepe myrtle. It gets amazing red flowers all over it. It is probably my, I don't know, it's probably my first favorite. I love this one. I think if it was up to me, well, it is up to me, but you know, it doesn't look that pleasing to uh, other people and I don't live here by myself. I would probably have dynamite crepe myrtles all over <laughs> my yard. So one of the other reasons why people have an issue with crepe myrtles is because they set out runners. So not only will this tree I don't want to say reproduce itself because it's not an actual reproduction, but the trees set out runners and they will grow more trees all around the original or the mother tree. This is the spot where I had another black diamond crepe myrtle and the gopher tunneled through its root system and just killed it. But as you can see, it had already sent out runners. So I do have <laughs> more growing over here so this is what one two three four maybe five let's see oh yeah I think there's five in there so because I love crepe myrtles I have no problem with it sending out runners and giving me more plants especially since this one actually came up with the purple foliage also it's not as dark as the original but that color is amazing and i'm hoping that it gives me the same fuchsia colored flowers that the other one gave me also let's see if i can pull one of these blooms down oh you're kind of high up there oh yeah i'm not gonna be able to get it but you can see the white They are spectacular. Let's see. Oh, I got it. Look at that. Just beautiful. We'll get these beautiful blooms all through the summer, all through the fall. And uh, yeah, they give me a lot of color all through the year, pretty much. Because like I said, even when they're not in bloom, the foliage starts to change colors and uh, gives me a lot of interest in the garden. So I am starting to melt. So I am going to head back inside to uh, the air conditioner. But I wanted to share this beauty with you guys. Look at that, we're gonna have gorgeous blooms. Just gorgeous. So. You guys leave me a comment down below let me know if you like crepe myrtles i know my girl essie doesn't really care for them too much <laughs> but um if you guys like them if you grow them leave me a comment down below let me know what your favorite one is um actually just let me know if you like them or if you don't like them and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video